Good morning, allies. Back to normal vlogging for today because I have a repair job I have to do. I have uh, known for a little while now that my, my water heater's drain valve has been failing. There's been a very, very slow drip. I woke up this morning, that drip has become a consistent pour. So I've got towels all in the bottom of my water heater. Um, I need to sort this out today, and so I got I have I have a replacement for it. I just don't know where it is right now, uh, so I have to find that today when I get home and swap it out. It should be a very easy job. None of my jobs are never easy, so let's see how this one works out. Good evening, allies. So my water heater is leaking right out of this thing. Step one is going to be. Oh, I turned the water off, by the way, up at the, the feed line. So step one, just turn off the feed line. Step two, mm. install a hose. This hose, though, what are you, what's your problem, hose? Lots of water draining now? Okay, back it off from the point that it starts to leak. Okay. Basically, once you have this open and you've got this open, you just have to let time and gravity do their job. And then I'll show you what to do to swap this out. Something to talk about though, let's switch over to the table. Go ahead, Tybot. Real talk, some things that you should probably have, some pipe dope or plumber's putty, what are they calling this, pipe joint and compound. There's lots of different names for this, but it all serves a particular function of, of helping seal connections to threaded connections on plumbing. Uh, it's good to have some supply of this, and this is just a small little tube, but they come in larger tubes. It's often good to have small little tubes, that way you don't, you, you can keep these sealed and get the longest shelf life out of them possible, so you can buy, you know, five or ten of these. And then a couple of these drains, and I can't think of anything other than a water heater off the top of my head, but it's a useful thing to have, maybe one or two, just in case. Whoa! <laughs> so after spending what felt like two hours or more waiting for this thing to drain, um, it's drained. So now what do we do? Well, we're gonna need our pipe compound. Take your, uh, I really like these Irwin. Wow, I've got big problems, and I also didn't have, I didn't have the video on. So apparently this was the long shank, and it snapped. This is not good, guys. This is really not good. Let me see if I can recreate what happened. So this is the long shank drain valve with the hex head. I, uh, I proceeded to twist it, and it sheared right off of the end. So now I've got a hole in which there is a couple of inches of stuck threaded drain pipe. So I got myself my socket wrench, a uh, socket wrench, an extender, a, what is this, half inch socket, and a sprinkler pipe puller thingy that has a, you guessed it, a hex head. So now I'm gonna try and get this out. I think this diameter is a little too big. Doesn't matter, we have to make this work. There is the offending pipe. Good news is biting. <clears throat> this is not budging at all. Well, it should go without saying that, of course, that easy out, this guy here, didn't at all go as expected. So now it's time for me to talk about why you have and keep a multitude of tools because sometimes things can be used in ways you didn't even think they could. In here is my pipe fitting kit, um, my copper pipe fitting kit, that has multiple different types of gas, torches, map, and propane. Is that right, propane? Butane, I don't remember. Anyway, um, I'm gonna use that to heat up this screwdriver to a red hot, and then I'm gonna mar the inside threads of the of the chipped piece because there's a the outer piece the female end that's all metal so I can heat this to a red hot tip melt the PVC and kind of pry it all out and then clean it up with a wire brush uh, much quicker I know a lot of people on the internet said use a hammer and a screwdriver 
heat and PVC go a lot better than heat and metal, so I don't think I'm going to damage the threads by doing it this way with the PVC instead of just, just hacking at it over and over again, which I guarantee I will mess the threads up. <laughs> but then, just like that, <laughs> this thing was stuck. Uh, my, my adapter was stuck real deep in, and I started like wrenching it up and down to get it loose and uh it, it gave it up uh i guess the co the thought of me taking a blowtorch to it was was just a little too mobster draconian-esque and so it, it gave up <laughs> just remember that when you do a lot of these things oh this drain valve sucks oh god what did i buy uh, I'm gonna switch this out for a galvanized one later. This is crap. I think I'm just gonna cut this out. I'm just gonna make the hole bigger. Oh, never mind. That's beautiful. It's just beautiful again. It's so beautiful. There we go. Okay. Now that I've made this like horrible, deadly thing here, let me get. A persuader, a crystal blue persuader here. Yeah, hold on. Okay, so I went through and I, I embiggened the hole. I embiggened it. Look at that. Now I'm gonna take my pers my crystal blue persuader, and I'm gonna smash in the pieces so that I don't just uh just bar uh, ground beef my hand when I try and screw the fix to the fitting in. Okay, here we go. Oh, that wasn't supposed to go that way. Crystal Blue Persuader! You have wronged me for the last time, piece of metal. I feel good after a long day of getting real pissed off at people at work. For a water heater I st installed in 2011, this thing is, is working great. And no, I'm not sponsored by All, but All, if you'd like to... You know what? Here you go. There you go, All. I'm going to apply generously because I don't give an F. Uh, clean off the... I get a little bit on the inner side. I don't want this going into... I don't want to jam up my, my line. Like so. Alright, here goes nothing. I can't tell what's happening. <sighs> Okay, so the problem that I thought was going to be the problem is this foam, what grit, I'm not even showing you. This foam business has like, been allowed to impact my, uh, my effort, so I'm going to have to come back with a, a utility knife. I thought there was more clearance, there is not. There we go. Watch me break this thing too. That's gonna have to do. Let's try it. All right. Well, you'll be the first to know. I jump up here and turn the feed line on again. That's real pretty there. Uh, okay, so that was pretty much it. So what did we go through? We went through sockets. We went through um, sprinkler pulley valve thingies. We used a utility knife. We used a utility or a uh, tin snip slash universal snips, whatever. Um, sinister snips. Citizen snips. That's it. A persuader or mallet and a modified Phillips head screwdriver, which really didn't. That was helpful. Um, I probably shouldn't sit this close to a goddamn water heater. I mean, it's not on, so it's not a big deal, but um, I did tell you that I was gonna use the uh, torch on this, and I think I should. So I'm gonna, let me see if I can shut something up here. Because I want you to believe me that this is possible, and that it is a useful skill in case you ever um, were so inclined. Come on, jerk. Okay, so I'm gonna go from the first way, which was heat this up. Okay, we're on the outside of the threads, but let's let's try it on the PVC, ready? 
So you're able to cut a nice groove right in the PVC. So here we go. So if you wanted to cut PVC off of something, you can almost use this like a hot knife. It's already cut just this massive groove into the PVC. Okay, you don't want to breathe this obviously, but, or you can just go in there and actually just apply heat to it if you're so inclined. That's not good. Don't breathe that. You don't want to breathe that. Now, last step is to turn the water heater back on. Do we have any leaks? I think we're okay. Excellent. Let's turn that water heater back on. Oh yeah. There she goes. That's the sound of the gas flowing. Okay. Oh, hello Charlotte. So what did they learn? Oh, why is this not working? So what do we learn today, boys and girls? Well, one, having different tools like a sprinkler stem puller, like remover, counter twist, sprinkler stem remover, amazingly useful for working on a water heater. Just get it in there really good, work it until it's like really through the threads and then give it a couple of vertical up and down, left and right, um, jarring motions real slowly just to break through the, the threads loose because by the time you work your way in, the walls of the PVC is getting real thin and you can just break it loose at that point and then work it out. Two, using a propane torch or a map torch to heat up a screwdriver and then rip at the threads, making um, perpendicular to the threads, right? So if the threads are going um, into the water heater, you wanna make long pulling strokes with a red hot tipped flathead or, or Phillips head or standard screwdriver. Uh, you'll end up pulling basically all the material off of the threads and it'll become very brittle and then you can just go in there and tap it with a screwdriver and it'll break it loose and then you can, you can actually twist it out at that point very easily. Uh, that would have been what I would have had to have done. I'm glad I didn't have to go that route, but hey, we have the options. And that's why we prepare for things like this. Prepping just isn't about disaster. It's about small disasters, small problems, like your water heater not working, the drain pipe breaking on your water heater. How often that happened? Hopefully never. But here's the thing. If you were anybody else not watching me right now or not having the mindset to go find this information, you would be out either paying a plumber or buying another water heater. That part, those the, the collection of tools that we just used, under 50 bucks uh, for a nice socket set for just a couple of socket pieces, and that sprinkler puller is nothing, a couple of bucks. The fitting was five bucks, and the paste was a couple bucks as well. And then, you know, torch, that kind of stuff, you could you could worry about that later. You guys, this is, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Prepping is a mindset. It's not about disasters or <laughs> economic collapses, although that's fun to, you know, masturbatory thinking about. Really, it's about doing stuff like I just did. Number three, I think the beard really helped. I was going to shave this morning, but I let it, I've been letting it grow, and I got this undergrowth right here. I think there's a lot of confidence build up about right here and right here that um, I drew upon that and it really pulled me through the rest of the way. Yeah. Question of the day. What should I name my, my plumber alter ego that he comes out when I've got to get some plumbing done? I would love to know what you think. Post your comments in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. If you have not already, please subscribe. I'd love it if you had shared this on all your socials with all your friends and I will talk to you tomorrow. So tomorrow, I don't know what I'm doing, but I want to give you a quick round about the room right now. There's the back wall, that's where the pipe's going. The um, bookshelf is living there right now. I'm gonna end this on my buddy, Masad Aoub. Awesome dude. All right guys, see ya.